we're going to go to web and choose a common web page. Uh, then I want to show you your paintbrush tool, which is over here on the left. This works similar to paintbrushes you may um, use in real life. Um, whatever you click and drag uh, to make your line, it's going to appear in Illustrator similar as it would on paper. The difference is you can choose different brush strokes for your path. So over on the right, you'll see a brush bin. If you don't see this, you can always get that in the windows. You can go to brushes. Mine is already open though. Uh, over here in the library are different types of brushes that you can explore. I'm going to go to artistic and just choose the calligraphic, which I have your basic uh, circles, um, ovals. So you're going to, I'm going to click through so you can see how the line changes based on which brush I choose. I'm going to go to some others. So let's say I wanted to work with this one. I can come over, I can um, double click on it, on the brush icon and change the size of my stroke. I can also increase the stroke here. So besides the types of brushes you can uh, use, the types of strokes, I'm just going to come back up here and go to a basic brush. So let's say I'm going to bring in an a example of a rebus, which we are going to be doing for our names. So you can see that some of these things would make sense to use the paintbrush for, like this pepper here. Uh, I might draw a red pepper or green pepper. Um, it looks like the sun, shape tools were likely used. Uh, the ore, maybe the top part of this ore was created with the paintbrush. If you make a mistake, you can just do Command Z. The other thing you can do if you make a mistake is use the white arrow to adjust anything. So I'm going to zoom in. Over here, this little overlap I can fix by pulling one of the handles up. So I select a single anchor point with the white arrow to make adjustments. So once I have the artwork that I want to fill in, I'm going to come over I'm going to just collapse this. Here we are. Uh, I'm going to add a few extra lines because I want you to be able to see what the live paint group uh, can do here. I'm going to select the objects that I want to use the live paint bucket with. It's similar to a paint bucket in other programs. It's going to allow you to fill the uh, lines that you created. So I want to first go to object expand appearance so my line work doesn't change. And then I'm going to come up to Object, Live Paint, and Make. Now I can come over and get my Live Paint bucket, which is hiding behind the Shape Builder. And I can, when I hover, I'm going to see these red areas. That means I can fill that shape. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to pick uh, a color for my pepper here.
maybe I'll use that there. You can also, if you choose, you can look at some color libraries. So up here, if you go to the library, there are, if I want to go to foods, you can get some preset libraries. So this one is called vegetables and it's got a whole bunch of colors that are preset. Uh, you can feel free to explore the libraries. We usually are using the default art and illustration. So again, um, here is how you use the live paint bucket. I will add that to um, a paper version in Classroom as well that has the steps.